What's going on YouTube? Taylor Prentice back here with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about the week 13 drop list for Supreme's fall winter 2023 season which is set to drop this Thursday November 16th. So the big collaboration for this week is with Doc Martens. We will get into that at the end of this video. We'll also get into the prices for each item at the end of this video but if you guys are new to the channel if you could hit that like and subscribe for me it would help me out a lot. I cover all things Supreme, Palace, Kith and Bape when I feel like they're doing cool stuff. So pretty much all things streetwear. If there's any brands that you guys would like to see me cover, leave a comment down below and I might give it some thought. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get right on into these pieces. So the first item we have here is the big logo Jacquard hoodie. So uh, this one is just too much for me. I do like the Jacquard in it. I think that is like a cool application. But overall, uh, this hoodie, like I said, is just a little too in your face for me personally. I don't think it's like the worst hoodie. Um, I like the black one the best. I feel like the text doesn't really bother me. It's just like the big red patch on this gray hoodie. It looks kind of out of place. In the purple one, uh, I would just have like a harder time wearing that purple. So these aren't the worst pieces. Definitely not my favorite. Um, does look like the hoodie is going to be a nicer, a little bit nicer of a material though. So that's interesting. Here we have the Supreme Shot uh, Sherling Bomber Jacket. This is pretty fire. I usually like the shot stuff. Uh, it's not always like my style. Like I would probably still have kind of a harder time wearing this, but I think it looks amazing. Uh, we do have three colorways. I think the tan is probably my favorite. The black is really nice too. I don't love that red so much, but <clears throat> overall this jacket is super sick. For the big ballers out there, I think this one that uh, estimated retails like $14.98. Shot stuff is always crazy expensive, but you, know, you get what you pay for. Uh, here we have the paisley studded work jacket and i think this is honestly one of the best pieces from this season especially this brown colorway so uh it's all cotton canvas with metal studs so all of these are metal it's not uh like a rhinestone or anything they are metal studs and then it has that 3m thin slit to keep you warm so this is pretty much just their version of a carhartt jacket with uh some supreme twists on it i love this jacket beautiful beautiful piece um i would wear is there only two? Yeah, I would wear both the colorways. I do think I like the brown one a little bit more. It just has that like worked in type of vibe to it. Here we have the Polar Tech zip jacket. I did not roll it. I did not realize these were Polar Tech till just today. I do really like the way that these jackets look though. Definitely like that early 2000s type of vibe going on here. I think it's really cool. I think this colorway is my favorite, but uh, all these are really solid. We've got like the red and black then we also have this like seattle seahawks type of colorway so yeah they did a good job with these uh definitely some nostalgia vibes from those and it is that polar tech 200 fleece so gonna keep you pretty warm here we have the polar tech face mask half zip hoodie uh so this is the polar tech 200 fleece again just in a hoodie form so you have the kangaroo pocket and then also you have the half zip like mask uh, which is cool i like the mask i think that's a cool addition to this piece to be able to zip it up so far i don't love this camo um i don't really like hate it either it just looks kind of like childish for some reason i don't know um i do like the supreme branding there in the middle and then you do have the polar tag branding there on the sleeve as well see so yeah, i thought these pieces were all right not really something that i would wear but uh yeah definitely not a bad piece like it more than i don't for sure here we have the USA zip up hoodie uh, sweater. So this is knit, which is crazy, crazy. Um, I don't love the colorways. I think this green one's all right. Uh, I actually don't really like this red and black one very much. Uh, the purple one is probably my favorite. So yeah, these are just kind of like an odd piece. It's really cool that they're a knit hoodie like this. Uh, the whole like Jersey type of vibe going on is a little bit odd. Um, so yeah, there's definitely pros and cons of this piece. Overall, I'm kind of in the middle on it though. Here we have the striped flannel. Uh, this is sick. I love this. I love Supreme's flannels. Uh, they always fit really nice. It's nice that this one is a zip up. And yeah, I just really like the stripes here. I think the, I think the one on the right is my favorite, but I would wear, actually the one in the middle is probably my favorite. I would wear all three of these though without hesitation. Very nice pieces. Uh, good for really like any situation. Here we have the small box logo, long sleeve tee, uh, the leopard print, fire. I love when Supreme does leopard print. There's another leopard print item this week that we'll get into that I think is pretty fire. So yeah, just really cool. Uh, and then the other ones are like very basic, but I still think they're pretty nice. Heather Gray is cool, uh, but I would wear all of these. Just very basic, but 
can't hurt to have in your wardrobe. Here I have the fuck Antarsia short sleeve top. Uh, so it just says the F word a bunch and that Antarsia knit. I don't, yeah, not for me. Uh, just shirts with profanity on them a lot of times like aren't very cool. And this one just has a plaster all over it. Just not, I don't know, not cool. Here we have the Paisley Sutted Double Knee Painter Pants. So I could have done without the text here. I think that would have made me like these more, but I still like them overall. Um, I think the black ones work better because you can't see the text as well. Uh, then I also like the denim. I really like the wash on that denim. And I just like the uh, applique, the metal. So these are cool. I still like the jacket a lot more, but I would wear these for sure skis. Uh, here are the Polar Tech pants. So these are just the same version of those hoodies, just in pant form. Uh, same fleece and everything, same colorways. We do have the Supreme branding there below the left knee. I don't know. I, I probably wouldn't wear these. I like the hoodie more, but yeah, I don't know. Polar Tech stuff is not like always right up my alley. Here are the hand tied beanies, and these are sick. I really like both colorways, but the more colorful one is a lot more fun, in my opinion. I really like the hand knit on the black, but uh, yeah, just the color combo on this one is exquisite, and I just really like this hat. Definitely uh, the most tempted I've been to buy a beanie in a while. Here are the Polar Tech beanies. Again, you guys know my feelings on Polar Tech. Don't really love it. Uh, it does have the flip up, so you can wear this as like a smaller beanie which is not something that I would wear. So uh, this piece is a solid pass for me, but I don't think they're like absolutely terrible either. I do like the branding once you flip up the uh, edges of it. <laughs> uh, here we have the Polar Tag Zip Balaclava. So these are cooler. Um, definitely more likely to buy these than the other Polar Tag items, I feel like, even though st I wouldn't really have a use for these, but I do think these are more useful and just cooler. I really like the white outline on the text going across like across the head. Just cool. The zip up, like the full zip up is pretty cool. Yeah, I thought these were pretty nice. Here we have those leopard <coughs> uh, corduroy camp caps. I was talking about there was more leopard items. This is them. They're beautiful. These might be the best camp caps ever released. I love corduroy. I love the leopard print when Supreme does it and they just brought it together. Beautiful. Don't love camp caps though. Uh, so I'm not going to get this, but I do love this. They, they nailed this. This is definitely like, like I said, probably my favorite camp cap I've ever seen from Supreme. And then, uh, getting into the accessories before we get into the doc Martens, we have the large FM neon sign. So this is awesome. I would love to have this. Uh, this is handmade by glow studio fire. Like I said, just would be super cool to have this, but, uh, yeah, going to be too expensive for my taste. And then we have the Bravo Bell. Uh, this is just a little, like, keychain accessory. I don't know. I, yeah. Keychain stuff never really excites me very much. But, okay. Looking at the Doc Martens, and then we will get into the prices. So, yeah, that light is going to be, like, $8,000. That's why I said it was too expensive. But getting into these shoes. So, these are the Ramsey Creepers. I'm not super familiar with Doc Martin. Uh, I do like the brand. I feel like they have a lot of solid offerings when it comes to shoes or just footwear in general. I don't think I was familiar with the Ramsey Creeper. As you guys can see, it has kind of like this uh, weave woven type of action going on here on the toe box and then we do have the supreme box logo there in the back so yeah coming in three colorways i think this metallic silver colorway is my favorite i also like the black detail there uh i think that just like is nice uh but yeah overall these are pretty cool i don't feel super strongly either way about them uh this is definitely not my style but even yeah like if it was maybe i would buy them i don't think they're bad i think they're actually pretty nice if I see someone with these, I'll probably like enjoy seeing that. That sounded kind of weird, but I do think these are pretty cool. I think the metallic ones are my favorite. Uh, I just think the like glossy look here is nice. I kind of wish we got these in a leather, like one leather pair. I think that would have been cool. Um, but overall, pretty nice for the collab. And then getting into the prices here, I'm not gonna read off each price. That would just take too long. So you guys can go ahead and just read them. But yeah, I'm going to be missing out on that studded hoodie because it is $500, so out of my price range right now. But very sick. Hopefully we see more pieces like that in the future, and hopefully they can kind of get that price down because that's just a little absurd for a hoodie or a jacket, whatever you want to call it. 
it is super fire though um but yeah that is going to be it for this week thank you guys so much if you have made it to this point and i will be dropping a palace video later on today so make sure to go check that out as well but we will see you next time have a good one